Hey, and welcome to the balcony. And pretty excited today because we finally got some female fruit flowers. So I thought I'd do a quick video and show you guys how to self-pollinate. If you guys don't have any male flowers, such as this beautiful flower, to for the bees to pollinate these flowers, which are the female flowers, then you can easily self-pollinate and pollinate the fruit flowers yourself. So we're looking at the female flower that finally opened up this morning. And I don't have any open male flowers um, that are at the end of the straight shoots. So I've saved a few and today we're just going to open up one of the ones that is closed. And you don't have to remove the flower completely um, if it has been opening up in the morning. But this flower has closed and it won't open up. So I've gently removed the male flower from the outside of the male receptor. And I've left one of the leaves so it created a small handle. And as you can see, the pollen is just covered over the male flower's receptor. And what we're going to do is we're going to rub this receptor all over the female flower. And that will enable pollination and that will create your fruit to grow nice and big. You can get some nice big zucchinis. So I'm going to show you guys the three basic ways to do this. And the first way, which is most commonly used, is just by your hand. And you're just going to want to gently rub the female flower with the male receptor and attach the pollen to the small hairs all over the flower. And the second way I've seen that is quite successful is if you have a fresh male flower, you can take the back of a vibrating toothbrush, gently tap it, and this will distribute pollen all over the flower without having to rub it into the actual female flower. And my favorite way is using a chopstick. And this is done just by fitting the end of the male flower over top of the end of the chopstick, and it'll give you a more accurate way of rubbing the female flower, and this will actually allow you to actually touch the male receptor with the female receptor going to direct pollination. And what happens here is when the female flower eventually closes, all the pollen that you've put all over the flower will close up and cover and eventually make its way into the female receptors. So you can speed this process up by carefully touching the male receptor, gently touching the female receptor without breaking any of the parts of the flowers off, which is very important. And as you can see, I'm going in here and I'm just going to gently tap the female receptor with the male flower. And this will allow a nice even distribution of pollen, just in case when the flower closes, it doesn't grasp that receptor as well as I'd like. So as you can see, it's just as simple as taking the male flower receptor and gently poking it like so with a chopstick. And this will allow you to easily flutter around the female flower just like a bee without damaging too much of the flower itself. So I wanted to do a quick little clip here at the end for my subscribers and my longtime viewers who have been watching my previous videos on transplanting these zucchinis. And as you can see, I've pulled away the edge of the container and you can see how the roots have really worked their way to the edge of the container and they're starting to work their way up through the new soil I added. So I'll definitely be giving a quick update on this in the following week. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching and if you have any comments and you want to rate, please do so. And thanks for joining me on the balcony today. Hope you guys enjoyed the show and come back soon for another episode. Thanks again. Please subscribe.